Uh, let's quickly look at another possible cause of what abdominal pain and this one is uh, what we call the pelvic abscess all right so pelvic abscess on a pelvic abscess um, pelvic abscess is simply what is what accumulation of yeah you are basically looking at this accumulation of pores or you could say abscess in the pelvis all right so this accumulation we have different types and we we'll basically look at the causes right why there will be abscess in the pelvis they will look at the symptoms that's like if the abscess is there what could be the things that will be resulting and all the stuff right we'll talk about the possible treatment and that will be all for today so up to the types now yeah there could be tubal ovarian abscess what is a tubal ovarian abscess Tubal ovarian abscess is where you have abscess in the fallopian tube and in the ovaries, okay? And this involves the fallopian tube and the ovaries. Okay, they explain everything. Then we have the endometrial abscess. This one is a type of abscess that will form in the linings of the uterus, okay? Ovarian abscess, this one develops within the ovary, okay? Yeah, then we have the pelvic cul-de-sac abscess. This one occurs in the space between the rectum and the u uh, uterus, okay? Like between the rectum and the uterus, you have the cool de sac space. So there could be accumulation of what abscess there because this space is more of like a dependent place. Do you understand? So there's, there could be accumulation of abscess there and it can lead to what? Um, it can actually lead to what? Yeah, accumulation of uh, abscess there, all right? Then we have the broad ligament abscess. This one, it forms in the tissue, which is connecting the uterus and the pelvis. We have the adnexal abscess. This one involves the fallopian tube, ovaries, or the surrounding tissue. Then we have the Bartholin's gland abscess. This one develops in the glands, which are located on either side of the vaginal opening, all right? Then uh, we have the perirectal abscess. This one forms near the anus, all right? And I'm um, talking about the possible causes of this abscess. It could be due to bacteria infections, like infections from chlamydia, gonorrhea, and the rest. Okay. Then surgical complications. It could be that yeah, they did some surgery, so the wounds didn't heal properly. Then next you have abscess formation. Then trauma. It could be due to trauma, uh, inflammatory conditions. It could be due to inflammatory conditions like what? Appendicitis, diverticulitis, that's inflammation of the diverticulum. Appendicitis could be that there's inflammation of the appendix, right? Then this could also be due to some gynecological conditions, like what? You have an endometriosis. Then you have the ovarian cyst, okay? Then um, if you have abscess in the pelvis, what could be the symptoms? What will result, okay? Yeah, the person who complain about what, severe pelvic pain. Yeah, the patient could also complain about what, fever, chills, and nausea. There could be vaginal discharge or bleeding. Okay, that's in women. There could be abdominal tenderness or guarding. That's muscle guarding. The person will not want you to touch the place, okay? Then there'll be rebound tenderness. Rebound tenderness is when, okay, if you successfully touch the place, then... The person will stop feeling pain. But when you want to remove your hands, okay, that's when the person now start feeling so much pain. There'll be dysuria, that's painful urination. There'll be constipation or difficulty passing out to, all right? What are the possible treatments? Of course, if you suspect that there'll be infection or there's already an infection, you could administer antibiotics, okay, to tackle the bacteria infection. Uh, you give uh, treatments for pain management. You give supportive care. Um, you can surgically drain the area or remove the abscess, okay? Then percutaneous drainage. This one is insertion of a drain through the skin, okay? Just to take care of the drain, uh, take care of the what? Um, take care of the abscess. Then laparoscopic or what? Open surgery to address the underlying conditions that are basically what? Uh, causing this pelvic abscess. 
appendicitis, the appendectomy, all right, and the rest of it. So that's it about the pelvis abscess, talking about the types, causes, symptoms, and treatment.